Um, do you want to run to the pirate town? <laughs> um, How far are we are from the floating rock? Uh, the floating rock is uh, probably your best place to go. Yeah. Yeah, we can head there. And guys, if you'll give me a second, I'll give you some experience points. For the zombies and for, you know, getting your asses kicked. <laughs> And, <clears throat> gentlemen, welcome to level five. Yay! I have been dying to bring that zombie out, that T-Rex out. <laughs> and the way that works... Um, the T-Rex started out as being a normal Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, however, at some point in time, he ate a zombie and the zombie bit him. So the Tyrannosaurus Rex become a zombie. And anything that the T-Rex eats becomes a zombie. Oh. <laughs> yes, so uh, that's the reason that he was able to throw out, throw up, throw up a zombie. I guess Andrew's a zombie now then. Just a second. So now our two guys flew out of zombie and Andrew. Yeah. Uh they 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 could be. Most likely. Uh you know. So you all are running as hard as you can away from this dinosaur. Going to consider the party dead, and that's it. We'll continue. Yep. Pretty much. Well, look at the bright side. Now Flask and River don't have to worry about the uh, Flaming Fist, right? <laughs> no, but you still do. <laughs> Let's see, I'm trying to remember how to level up. Uh, go to your class that you want to add and drag it over to your character sheet. From the library? Yeah. Okay. see what spells I can get. Let's see, where's the spells warlocks get, get listed? Mm. 
uh, player's handbook, uh, spells, and warlock. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the chat window. So, for the number of spells I get, is it just like one third level or? Uh, for a warlock, and you're now fifth level. Uh, fifth level, you can know, uh, you can know up to six, six spells and you get a third level spell slot um six i think i have six already though uh that may be plus or minus but anyway uh go ahead and add another spell if you'd like Okay, uh, so I had four second bubbles, and now I have two second, two third. So I have the same number of casts, basically? Uh, you should have... Two first. I don't see any first listed on the spell slots at all, but... That's one. That would be two first. That would be a two seconds. Any suggestions for two spells of third level? Uh, give me just a second, Pimo. Um, yeah, uh, Malik, uh, we'll have to uh, redo your spells. Um, All right. <laughs> but but you, the way that I am reading it, you have two first, you have two second, and you should only have one third. Oh, my bubbles, my, my bubbles show two second, two third, no first. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at that. Um, Yeah, go ahead for the time being and just choose another spell and we'll uh, redo your character sheet to make sure you get your spell slot showing. I don't think we added the uh, first level the right way. Yeah. <laughs> so, and Hemo, you're looking for third level? Yeah, three, third level. Third level spells. Like, I, I know how to add. I'm just looking for suggestions, if you have. Because I never reached that for reasons. So. <laughs> I see Fireball and Light Bolt and Magic Circle. That seems to be interesting. Uh, well, Fireball is always a crowd favorite. Um, However, as you just learned with the Wand of Wonder, uh, you got to be careful who's close. <laughs> um, Uh, protection from energy is kind of good. Uh, the spell magic, if you're going up against uh, other spell casters. Um, fly, 
could come in handy, uh, as well as gaseous form. Uh, ooh. Mm, fly available just as we happen to reach up, reach the flooding uh, house. <laughs> That's true. I like this uh, magic circle sometimes. I don't, but I, I will read this properly, so. Now, it's not really offensive, but the sleet storm. Um, you know, you got heavy freezing rain and ice within a 40 foot radius that's 20 foot tall. It won't block them, but it would slow them down. Oh, that's true. Uh, slow would be another good one. Cut their movement in half. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> And then, get low and uh, if you're looking for offensive, uh, well, you got lightning bolt. <laughs> uh, yeah, but with fireball, I, I can create the, the, because now if I will be the caster, so I can create the areas of uh, safety, right? So, right. Um, I guess I go with uh, bow and fireball. Uh, I selected gaseous form. I think really... it's a good add-on to Misty Step. No, uh, absolutely. And I think it has some puzzle-solving options. Also, I can cast on others. Yeah, but to get, get the form, you cannot attack, right? Not, yeah, I can't really attack if I'm in gaseous form. It's more of an escape or movement, because you can fly. Or get into rooms that you otherwise couldn't get into. Um, or get out of a prison cell, like if you were captured by the Flaming Fist. <laughs> For example. <laughs> get out yeah. Of, well, couldn't get out of handcuffs, I guess, but you could miss through the bars. Something tells me if you get captured by the Flaming Fist, you probably will not make it back for trial. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will get my bow and fly. I like fly. Fireball. 
And when you're all done leveling up, I'll give you an overnight rest. Okay. That may be why that may be why it's not showing your first level spell slots. I actually have never seen first level spell slots. Yeah, we'll probably just have to uh, uh make a new character and drag it over. Melic three. Yeah. <laughs> closet four now, right? Melic three, closet four. Okay, that works. <laughs> uh, All right, leave some in the closet. Have some uh, troll kebabs. I I was really hoping to make it Melic four. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I still think the wizard bolt's a pretty good attack spell. The what? The or a witch bolt. <laughs> I'll probably get an offensive spell next one. <laughs> Assuming we make another level. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, we are getting so much closer to Omu now. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, give me a second and I'll be ready. <laughs> uh, and, and you know, gentlemen, uh, if, if you all survive this and you get back to a bar somewhere and you tell the story uh, you know, Hemo, they're going to write a song about you. You're going to be immortalized in legend. <laughs> <laughs> you Monty Python fan? <laughs> the Ballad of Brave Sir Robin. <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> uh, okay, since you're all ready, we will level up. And long rest. Reset the spells. Mr. Happy can come back to the land of the living. And we'll let you camp. And it is now the morning of day 29. And gentlemen, uh, you continue walking towards the heart of Uptow. And eventually you get there. And you see this massive chunk of earth and rock that has been torn from the world and it's drifting over the swampy forest and it's roughly about a hundred feet above the ground uh, you can see this petrified tree towering above the stone and its stone roots protruding from the bottom and between the shape of the rock and the branching of the tree limbs you know it it creates the impression that there's this gigantic stone heart hanging in the air and it's only the illusion is the impression of that is made more gruesome by the fact that there's a red liquid dripping from the roots and you can see a cave mouth in the side 
as it's slow of the slowly rotating heart and you see a staircase going up the side and Well, we should be able to head right in, right? Hmm, looks like I'm getting some echo. Okay, and that shared. And I got a different map for you for the heart. But you see the staircase winding up from the cave to the flattened top where this petrified tree stands. And it, it, the stairs definitely are not natural. You know, they, they were hand carved. Okay. So let's uh, just and fly on up, right? <laughs> Check out the cave. And how how far is the is the, is the rock is the mountain from us from the, from the ground? Uh, it's about a hundred feet up. We have ropes, though, right? Yeah, we have ropes. Um, I'll just have Mr. Happy flap up there, tie a quick knot, give a tug to make sure he did it right, and then uh, climb up. What do you think? Or do you want to use the spells? No, let's let's use uh, Mr. Happy. Wait a three, uh, three level three spell for, for that. <laughs> okay, up you that. go, Happy. <laughs> <laughs> you better remember how to tie knots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Happy um, starts flapping up with the uh, ropes and. Uh, as Mr. Happy gets up to, you know, the cave entrance, um, he's kind of surprised. Uh, he sees this hap uh, he sees this elven woman standing there. And looking to see if I have an image of her. Happy wasn't expecting anybody and you know he's kind of shocked and he looks down at you Malik to see what he might do but there is this um, elven woman okay I'm gonna have him continue to tie the knots Okay. Uh, hiss at her. <laughs> uh, it, it, she she watches, you know, this closet uh, having difficult time tying knots. But you know, Mister Happy, he's diligent and he's trying. And uh, she walks over to Mister Happy and she goes, "Here, I'll help you." And she reaches down and finishes tying off a much better knot. And she looks over the edge down at you two and says, Hi! How are you all? Does she look familiar? Nope. Never seen her before. Who are you all? What brings you here? Uh, <laughs> what, what we, we are running for from a tire. No, sorry, <laughs> you can just say right that we are running from a tire to wreck. <laughs> we are running away from a T Rex, a zombie T Rex, to be honest. Oh, uh, it, is it just uh, you two? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to forget you're familiar. 
and um, she's like, well, why don't you all come up for some tea? Uh, he might eat, he think we should go up. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's start climbing up. Uh, uh, as you start to climb, uh, do you want to climb all the way up here, or would you like for me to bring you up here? <laughs> I'm fine with climbing. Yeah, we can climb. Unless, like, how would you bring us there? Well, uh, y you know, I can magic you up here. And, um... Since you're climbing, um... Uh, let's make athletic checks. <laughs> Can I ask her to match me up there? <laughs> Uh, oh yes, yes, I'll be more than happy. Uh, she looks at you, Malik, and she goes, "Would you like a lift?" Oh, I'm good. I'll just climb. Uh, yes, uh, you are indeed good. And Hemo, uh, you see that she pulls out a scroll, and she starts reading from it, and this portal opens up in front of you. And she's like, come on up! I step in. And... Malik, uh, you are climbing up. And, yeah, I'm just gonna... Unmask a lot of this map. Uh, you guys are now down on the bottom right hand of the map. And let's see, there's Mr. Happy. Is there not a grid on this thing? Nope. Okay, there's Mr. Happy, there's Malik, there's Hemo. Yeah, a lot less tokens to worry about now. <laughs> uh, no kidding. Um, man, when I think about it, I need to hide people. Undrill goes. I didn't like her anyway. <laughs> um, so, uh, Malik, you end up, uh, you climb, and after a minute or so, uh, you reach the top right there, and uh, Hemo, you exit the portal uh, right beside Malik, and uh, this elven woman is standing there, and you can see um, that the cave entrance uh, has a slight slope upwards toward uh, the center of the heart. And you can see... Um, that water is streaming out of it continually. And you can tell that the cave mouth appears to be natural, but the steps uh, are definitely, like I said, they have been chiseled and man-made. And your host goes, welcome, travelers. It's not that often that I have company and um, um, very grateful that you all have come. Thank you for listening me up here. And uh, what's your name and what you're doing here? 
Uh, as she says that, uh, you know, oh, I'm sorry, forgive me. Uh, I am Belandra, Belandra Shadow Mantle. And, uh, well, this is, uh, kind of where I'm living right now. Among one other place, and, uh, you know, um, I, I'm here doing research for the Red Wizards of Thay. All right, and is there a special reason for this uh, flying mountain? Like this special one, somehow, because there is this uh, shape of a heart, and uh, people believe that used to be a heart of a god or something. Uh, yes, and. Truly, that explanation as to why this fountain floats is as good as any other. Um, it, you know, as I said, I'm here in Cholt doing research, and uh, this seemed like a uh, good place to um, operate as my headquarters while I'm searching Cholt. Uh, do you know anything about that, like, uh, undead curse where people can't be resurrected anymore? And what would you know about that? I think there was some artifact that was causing it, but we haven't found it. Oh, so you're searching for the soul monger yourselves. Yeah, I haven't had any luck. Keep having our guides eaten. <laughs> Uh, well, being someone's dinner is a uh, very real danger here in Chult. Yeah. So, you wouldn't happen to know anything about uh, that subject, would you? Or? Uh, apparently, uh, we all share the same goal, because that is why I'm in this godforsaken land myself. Uh, I have been actively seeking the soul monger. Um, however, I just haven't been able to quite locate it yet. Uh, the the red wizards of they want to uh, stop and retrieve the soul monger and you know, uh, once we stop it from preventing people from resurrecting, you know, we can study it in a safe environment and keep it quarantined away from the rest of the world. And, you know, there are some that think that we should destroy it, but that's too valuable of magic and knowledge to lose. So, you know, yes, I will do what I can to recover the soul monger. You offering a reward for recovering up the item instead of destroying it? or Like if we were to run across it? Uh, it, it if you can run across it, yes, I would be most interested in working on an arrangement uh, for the retrieval of it intact. And okay, great. <laughs> uh, she's, you know, um, uh, I'll tell you what I know. Um, she believes uh, that the soul monger is hidden somewhere in the ruins of Omu. And Uh, she herself hasn't been to Omu, but the the scouts and so forth, her minions that she sent, uh, none of them have come back. Huh. You don't happen to know where some more guides might, might be that are close by that we could hire? <laughs> <laughs> I seem to run low at the moment. 
maybe some more hirelings. <laughs> Just a little bit, and let's see, I'm going to have to pull up the map for that one. Uh, truly, uh, the port city, uh, going back to the port or camp, camp righteous. Because uh, uh, she wouldn't be aware that, you know, Camp Camp Righteous was overrun and, you know, they abandoned it and formed Camp Vengeance. Because uh, most of her activity in searching uh, has been in the southern part of this land. Um... You know, it's even possible, um, to find one at the Pirate Cove, the pirate side of our nation, but I really wouldn't suggest it. <laughs> okay. I guess uh, not much to do besides have tea and then head on then unless she has anything she needs help with. And, you know, uh, I can give you, um, I, I can tell you how to get to Omo. Great. That would be useful. Uh, I know where it's at. And, you know, if you're going to uh, retrieve this artifact for me, um, that's the very least that I can do. All right. Maybe you would have something to help us, like any support uh, object. And you give her your map and she marks off that corridor right there and says pretty much uh, you know all you got to do is head southeast for a little bit and then or I'm south head southwest for a little bit and then head due south and you will run into Omo um, I, I will tell you up front that that is heavy undead territory Do you know a be the better way to go there, or just go through the to the jungle anyway? Uh, unless you have a uh, flying ship, uh, I guess you're walking. Mm. All right. You want to maybe come with us for a while? Any support is uh, appreciated. Uh, I'm sorry, what did you ask? We asked you if Do you, you want to join along. us? <laughs> Do you want to come along for a while? Uh, no. Um you know, I, I still have uh, other groups to send out and so forth. And, you know, um, I, I need to 
contact uh, my masters at the Red Wizards and let them know that you know I have another party and that I hooked up with that are um, you know searching for the soul monger as well all right you can try to do to go by something and you know she she does tell you that you know um, being an elf um, you know and not sleeping much um, <laughs> she spent a lot of time pouring over maps and histories and uh, everything that she can find points to the soulmonger being at Omu. Is there anything that you have heard or learned that could be helpful for us? Uh, I would expect uh, a lot of undead, uh, you know, uh, even Razni, uh, who, you know, you all did offer to kill, <laughs> if you saw him, from the Guardian Naga when you all were at the Ziggurat. Uh, you know, uh, he is in power in Omu. And with his army of, um, what were they called? Oh, snake-like people. Um, Naga? No, it wasn't the Naga. Uh, the or something like that? Yeah, the Young Tai. Uh, with his army of the Young Tai, he's, um, you know, quite powerful, and I would be careful if you encounter him. And she's like, uh, I, I must leave to inform my superiors now. And let's see. And Himo, um, while she's talking, uh, you notice that her face isn't quite right. Um, something makes you think that she could be casting, you know, like an illusion on herself. Oh. Huh. Uh, you, you know, for a moment there, you saw like a glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. What do I do? <laughs> you gotta look through the ma the glitch, right? I'm sorry? You gotta try to disbelieve the illusion. Right. Uh, I mean, uh, you're not sensing any danger or anything, but you just, you know, it's just a glimpse. Something is different. How long have you been here again? You just told me. Uh, oh, I've been in Cholt for a few months. And uh, the red, oh, 
Oh, they the name the Red Wizards. Oh, uh, yeah, the Red Wizards. And they 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 hire you for for, for coming here. Uh, yes, that's one way of putting it. You know, I've been associated. Uh, although I am not a Red Wizard, I have been a contract employee of them for a long time. And she's like, I, uh, I really must report back to my masters now, and, um... But I, I thought that you had offered us a cup of tea. Forgive my hospitality. Uh, yes, uh, she hands you a... Uh, yes, uh, feel free to have a cup of tea. Uh, like I said, I have to, uh, go meet with my masters and tell them. And, uh, when, when you're ready to leave, um, just take this scroll and you can tell that it's a scroll of Arcane Gate. Now, uh... Mr. Happy has resistance to magic spells and all effects. Does he see through the illusion? Um, it's one of those closet traits. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, let's say Mr. Happy is not scared of her. But he's um, kind of sticking back. What do I see when I look through his eyes? If he, uh, you can see that uh, this living, breathing elf. Uh, really, her flesh is all shriveled. Oh, that's pretty cool. And you can see um, a lot of age. And uh, make an arcana. Okay. You're mostly confident that uh, this woman is probably a lich. Okay, cool. And between knowing that and a uh, little bit of the history of the Red Wizards of Thay, uh, you probably don't want to piss the witch off. <laughs> I'll use my, um, let's see, Awakened Mind to uh, tell Hemo uh, Lich. Okay. <laughs> and, um... Wow, they gave me, like, no information on the Red Wizards of Thay. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, take the scroll, um, and, hey, you, you know, the the jungle's a dangerous so, place. So what's the scroll do? Is that to, like, summon you if we find the object or what? Uh, no, that will get you down to the ground. Okay, great, thanks. And, um... And she's like, I, I know you two have lost your guides and uh, some of your inventory and so forth. And you all are doing me a great service by 
helping to retrieve the soul monger if you find it and she's like uh, I'll know when you start getting close if you're going to find it I have my ways of knowing and to help you out she gives you uh, four potions of healing that I put in the party sheet. Alright, thanks. Well, better get off uh, searching then. But I have to report to my masters. Uh, you all are more than welcome to stay here and drink your tea before you leave. Um, I, I would suggest that you don't wander around. Okay. All right. We'll we'll be on, we'll uh, just have our tea then and be on our way then. And you see her go to. Uh, Where does she go? Uh, da, 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 da. That's in area six. Uh, you see her uh, walk into the cave and she goes uh, across the uh, main chamber and into a uh, small area. And you hear her um, reading or uh, saying words of magic and you can tell that you know she's opening up a portal and there's a flash of light and she is gone okay Hemo uh, did you want to like uh, sort of like search the place or just take off we're planning to give her treasure we shouldn't swipe her stuff or, or plan to give her the soul monger we should probably not give her or not steal her stuff but we could search quick So, I guess we can at least take a look, right? And then, um, then we leave. But at least take but a look. If it's a lich, she might have magical traps, and we don't have a rogue. That's true. Maybe we can send uh, Mr. Heavy. <laughs> right. So why don't we uh, head to the head to like kind of the side there? We'll have Mister Happy do a quick search, and if he doesn't die, um, he might drag something with him. If not, um, if he does, then we'll uh, depart quickly and uh, get closet number five. <laughs> Later. Okay, that's the plan. Yeah, that's good. That's okay. Good. Just a quick uh, brief search. Uh, going through area four, um, it's musty and dimly lit. Uh, there's a petrified tree trunk 20 feet above. Uh, there's tall bookcases, uh, wooden crates. Uh, opposite the entrance are two open doorways and a smaller chambers. Quick uh, to the bookcase for scrolls. There is a large iron cage. That is empty. Uh, Scroll-wise, uh, doing a quick search, uh, you do find two more scrolls of Arcane Gate. Uh, I'm not sure we need that. Uh, anything in the boxes? Uh... Uh, no, you're you're finding a lot of books on history, geography, culture, and natural philosophy. Okay, I'll have him by uh, hip nip into the next room and take a quick look around. Okay, in room number six, uh, you see a teleport teleportation circle etched on the floor. That's where the witch went in. Yes, I believe. So. 
Can he scratch out the circle to get, to make it not work? Uh, well, it's kind of etched. It would take yeah. a while. Yeah, we got time. <laughs> <laughs> we can give him some acid from our alchemy jug if he needs it. Okay, the Red Wizards of Thay are now on the enemies list. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, you you can scratch out this, you know, you can destroy the circle if you wish. Yeah, let's do it. And then grab the scrolls. Uh, anything else look, good, look like it's uh, good? Uh, not in that room. Okay, I'll have Mr. Happy uh, nip into the next room. <laughs> okay. Uh, Stuffed inside this closet, uh, you see six zombies. There's eight zombies stuffed inside this room. And they're standing there, not moving. Okay. Um, they don't have anything valuable though, right? Uh, do you want to try and search them? Uh, let's check the next room. A quick search. Uh, yeah, that's all you found on this level. All right, time to head off. Let's go. <laughs> now you can go up. Uh, we can have uh, Mr. Happy can flap on up. Sure. Uh, Mr. Happy flies on up, and I'll unmask that. <clears throat> And you can see the petrified tree. Um, there's a gaping hole in the um, bottom of the tree that opens up into the area where you were just at. Okay, anything good up there? Uh. Not that Mr. Happy can see offhand. Okay, does he see anything that might be causing the place to like fly, fly that he could break? <laughs> like a beating a heart or gem or something? Okay, let's piss off the god now. Uh, no. Uh, you're not seeing any type of mechanism. Uh, whatever is holding this place up is beyond you. Does the place look flammable? Like the workshop. Uh, I'm sure you could burn a little bit. Uh, Hemo, are you gonna let him do this? <laughs> I'm. I am just. To be very it's honest, a lich, I Hemo. just. Yeah, but anyway, she she helped us. She gave some some fortune. So <laughs> I would just move on. We already ruined the circle, though. Yeah, so he, what does it mean? That she can't come back? Uh, That's how far she is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so currently the question is, do you set the place on fire or do you leave? <laughs> that, that, we already searched everything, right? Yes, yeah. you have searched everything. And there's zombies in there. You don't want to leave zombies behind, do you? They have already searched everything for us, right? You, you can do some more searching if you want. I mean, yeah, uh, you, you have found everything of value. All right, then it just, uh, just, let's just leave. Just leave? Alright. <laughs> well, off we go then. <laughs> uh, uh, I was really hoping you were going to torch the place so I could set the forest on fire. <laughs> well, it's always next session. <laughs> 
Uh, absolutely. Okay, so you read from the scroll and this arcane gate opens up and you step through the portal and you are back down on the solid ground. You have a direction that you want that you have a clearer direction of how to get to Omu. Okay, great. Okay. And, uh, Malik, uh, when I do kill you, you're coming back as a lawful good paladin. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we start moving to 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 Omu uh, at once. Sweet. Yes, uh, very quickly, just in case the lich comes back. Uh, stole the scrolls <laughs> and ran. Take longer for it to come back without the teleportation circle. <laughs> Okay, uh, you managed to uh, get a few miles from um, <clears throat> from the heart of Uptal, and you make camp for the night. All right. And. Yeah, you can't trust liches. Kind of like soul-sucking demon kind of creatures. Yes. Even like troll meat. But do you really want to piss one of them off? <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> uh, wow. Is there anybody that's not after you? The Frost Giants. And the Merchant Prince. <laughs> you didn't upset him in the city. <laughs> okay. Uh, day 30, you, you break camp and you start heading south. And in the middle of the morning... As you're walking, you come upon the crushed remains of an unarmored dwarf. And it looks like that this dwarf was stomped to death by a dinosaur. <laughs> hmm. Oh. So Is it's there anything like a... that we can search? And, um... So he's just, like, totally flat? And, well, you know, you can see that there's bones broken, and it, it, it's been there for a little while, but it's not totally, um... decomposed yet. You know, it's still rotting. Oh. And... I think it was fresher, we could make a sail dwarf. Oh, oh well. come on. Uh... Searching through the remains of the dwarf, uh, you find a small onyx orb that has maze-like maze patterns carved into its surface. Um, it, you know it's usable as an arcane or druidic focus. 
Well, I already have a focus hemo. Did you want to use it? Or do you have one? But at, my, at the, the, the party it. sheet, uh, if you don't use it, you know, you can always sell it. It's worth 75 gold pieces. Okay. 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 And as you all are um, traveling along and trying to forget the image of this dwarven pancake that you just encountered, uh, you, you march ahead a few hours and off in the distance you can hear uh, the noises of zombies. And it's kind of faint, but it it seems like it's a really big noise. Well, I guess we should try to avoid that then. Like you mean big noise, like a lot of like different, uh, like a lot of them, noises? like a lot of them. And but it, it, it. proceeding down the path carefully, because you're you're not surprised. You're looking looking for trouble. You know you're creeping along. You know that danger is imminent, and you come to this little cliff, and. looking over the cliff you can see that there's like a couple hundred zombies just moving through the woods in front of you they haven't seen us yet right? uh, uh, they have not seen you and fortunately where you're at uh, you know you're at least a good 30, 40 feet above them. So they can't right. reach us? Uh, they yeah. cannot reach you. But at this time, you really can't see any way around them. Well, we could just chill touch them off. They can't hit us and we can hit them, right? Uh, there are hundreds. Well, we could get another level off it then. <laughs> so they cannot reach us. There are hundreds of zombies. I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe one of those zombies can do dispel magic. <laughs> oh. Be kind of funny flying right over the middle of them and. Oh shit, I'm falling. <laughs> do you want to try the Wand of Wonder on the zombies? <laughs> yeah. Uh. That's a desperation. If you want, I can give it to you, and you try. <laughs> Don't give Malik the wand. <laughs> uh, and gentlemen, uh, this uh, cliffhanger ending is a good place to stop for today. Okay, then we'll just wait for your email for when you're ready to start up again. Uh, absolutely. Uh, it's going to be at least two weeks, so don't look for anything until then. All right. And definitely.